Hello? Today I am going to talk about heap sort. This is an important concept to computer scientists, especially when studying algorithms. What exactly is heap sort? Well, heap sort is an algorithm or a process that can sort an array of numbers in order. That is why it's called a sort. It's a sorting algorithm. However, what makes heap sort special is that the array must first be formatted as a heap. And uh, also, this algorithm is more efficient, uh, generally, than some of the more common sorting algorithms. What is a heap? A heap stores data in a complete binary tree, such that all the children of a parent is either less than or greater than itself. What this means is that if you're going down the tree, it would look like all the numbers are increasing as you go down, or all the numbers are decreasing as you go down. What is a binary tree? Well, a binary tree is a tree such that every node has at most two children from it. A complete binary tree is such a tree that the left and right sides of each node are balanced as much as possible. What is a tree? What is an array? Okay, if you don't know all, uh, these things yet, you really shouldn't be watching this video yet. You should uh, go and review these terms and come back later. Moving along. This is the important information you will need for a heap sort. You can see here on the left, we have some uh, algorithms uh, made for us. These look like functions that you might have in a, 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 a programming language. The top one is called heap sort. This is the main uh, method that you would use, and it takes an array A, and it starts doing things with it. The first thing it does is build heap, which is down below it, and that takes the array and it, it creates, it formats it such that it looks like a heap. And after that it starts uh, going through a for loop, going through each uh, part of the array individually, and swap in, uh, either it either swaps elements uh, around or it calls upon heapify, which is near the bottom of the left. And uh, swap is not defined here, but it's an obvious function that you would swap uh, t the two elements defined uh, passed through in the array. And heapify, well, it's kind of confusing what heapify exactly does, but it, uh, it does a lot of switching around uh, such that you can tell exactly which elements you have to swap. If you look, look here on the right, you see a very simple example of a heap in a tree format, which we will use today. And uh, below it, we have an array A, which is already sorted as a heap for us. If you uh, look at how this heap is made, uh, you can uh, create an array from a heap uh, manually by starting at the top and going down uh, each level and putting uh, the numbers in from left to right on each level. So you would start at 5 at the top, then you would go down to 4, add 4, then you would keep going for that level uh, to the right, you would add 3, and there's no more left, so you keep going down, you would add 1, Once uh, uh, go right on that level, you would add 2, and th that's how you would get that array. Alright, let's start the heap sort. Okay, you can see here I have the tree and the al important algorithms on the side there for reference. When you are uh, using heap sort, especially for the first time, it's confusing. You will have to trace the steps so that you can understand it better. If you make a single mistake somewhere, you will find that you will probably end up with an array at the end that does not that is not sorted. And it's, it's something that just requires practice. Okay, the first thing that heap sort requires is that you build the heap. Well, as I showed you, uh, we already had the array in the heap format, so I'm not going to bother showing you all the steps that that would require, because that would take time and space. Alright, after that you would go for the f uh, for loop, and you would first call swap with the elements in space 0 and space 4. And uh, you swap the elements, it's simple enough. And then you call heapify with the spaces at 0 and 3. And if you follow f through that, you will find that k will be set to 1, and then you will have to swap the elements at 0 and 1. Okay, then you will be asked to call heapify again, and you will swap the elements at 1 and 3. You will pass through the elements 1 and 3. The uh, k will be set to 3. And then well, you will find that you can't do anything. That you don't have to continue after that. So if you go back to the for loop in heap sort, you will swap uh, the spots at 0 and 3. And you will swap them. Now notice that at this point, the array is sorted. However, you can't stop here because the uh, algorithm is not complete. You have to f follow through uh, f the entire for loop until it tells you that until the algorithm ends. So let's continue. You call heapify with uh, spots 0 and 2. K will be set to 2. Then you will have to call swap 
with and swap the elements at 0 and 2. Then you will have to call heapify again with 2 and 2. And then you can't do anything, so you go back to heap sort in the for loop, and you call swap again with elements 0 and 2. Then you call heapify again with 0 and 1. And if you follow that, k will become equal to 1, and you'll have to swap a uh, swap uh, the elements at 0 and 1. And then you'll have to call heapify again. Pass in elements 1 and 2. And then you find you can't do anything, and so you'll go back to the for loop in the heap sort. Call swap again with 0 and 1. And then you will call heapify again at 0 and 0. And that is where you would end. I hope you followed through on that. It, it was confusing, but just try your best. And that's all there is to it. Yes, it was a little confusing, uh, especially if you're doing it for the first time. But as we went through it, the, the array we started with at, with 5, 4, 3, 1, and 2 was sorted into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is the correct order. And the only advice I can give you is to practice this as much as you can. And it does uh, get easier as you get the hang of it. If you practice it 3 or 4 or 5 times, it does take a while, but you will be able to memorize it and hopefully you'll do fine in your future uses of it. Thank you for watching.